how not to feel empty. Now, for some unknown reason, it seems that each and every single one of us is born into this world with a hole. It's hard to describe it exactly, but for many of us, it's located around this area, and sometimes even this area. Nobody really teaches us how to deal with this hole, so we often find ourselves just trying to fill it. Because that's what you do with holes, right? <laughs> we turn to the variety of vices out there. Food, sex, drugs, porn, alcohol, smoking. We buy things like nice clothes, a nice car, a bigger TV, a newer phone. But the thing about this hole is that whatever you fill it with, you wake up the next day and the hole's empty again. Whatever you stuffed in falls right out. And all you're left with is an empty feeling. It's the same feeling you get when you watch an entire season of Game of Thrones in one sitting. A feeling that you're still missing something. Now I have some good news and bad news for you. The bad news is that the hole is always going to be there. It's part of the human experience. It's what separates us from all the other animals out there. It's not going away. The good news, however, is that the empty feeling that usually comes along with this hole can change in size. And by doing certain things, you can make that feeling shrink to the point where you barely notice it. So here are the three solutions to dealing with that empty feeling. Number one, we focus so much attention on this hole. We spend so much money and so much time, but when we dedicate so much energy into filling this hole, we forget about the rest of our body and even our mind. The first solution towards not feeling empty is to focus your time and energy on improving yourself. I know, I know, it sounds fucking cliche, but the fact of the matter is this hole is not going anywhere. It's never gonna close up, it's not gonna change. However, this doesn't mean that the rest of your body doesn't change. If you neglect the rest of your body, let yourself get fat, refuse to exercise, stuff it with drugs and alcohol, I guarantee you, you won't only be feeling like crap because of that empty feeling, you're also gonna be feeling like crap because you're destroying your body. And then, guess what? You're gonna associate this crappy feeling with the hole. You're gonna say, man, screw that empty feeling. It makes me feel like absolute crap. But in reality, the amount of suffering the hole actually brings you is way less than the suffering your damaged body is. Learn about fitness, learn about nutrition, learn about good sleep habits. The information is all out there for free. Just Google it. The second way to deal with that pesky hole of ours is to create something. Creating comes in many different forms such as art, music, writing, dancing, working on whatever project you're interested in. Hell, it could even be working on your fidget spinner tricks. <laughs> when you create, the focus is no longer on that hole of yours. The focus is now on something outside of your body. The next time you get bit by a mosquito, I want you to pay close attention to your body. If you're focusing enough on the bite, the itch should feel unbearably itchy. But if something is happening around you, like for example, let's say you're at the movies or you're in the middle of a date, the itch will quickly fade away. By redirecting your focus, the itch literally weakens. The same applies for that empty feeling. Redirect your focus onto your craft and that empty feeling will fade into the background. Another great thing about creating, no matter what shape or form your craft is, is that the next day when you wake up, it's still gonna be there. It doesn't get pissed out and flushed down the drain like alcohol and drugs does. Your creation is still there waiting for you to work on it. You know what? I'll be honest. I used to feel empty all of the time in the past. I used to just lay in bed, focusing on that feeling and basically complaining in my own mind for hours about it. But once I started working on the variety of projects I now have going on, especially this channel, I can proudly say that it's been over three years since that feeling was even a problem for me. The third and final thing you can do to deal with that pesky hole is actually extremely powerful, but only if you're up for the task. It's to meditate. I preach about meditation so much on this channel, but I bet 90% of you still don't do it. Sucks for you because you're really missing out. When you meditate, all you do is sit down and basically do nothing except observe your own body. And this often leaves you face to face with that feeling of emptiness. That's why people have an extremely hard time getting into the habit of meditation. Because it's not comfortable. Facing the feeling of emptiness head on is the last thing we want to do. All we want to do is run away from it and fill it with our vices. But when you sit down, meditate and face it head on, something very interesting happens. You realize that the feeling's not that bad. Bad. One of the big reasons why we dread that feeling of emptiness is because we tell ourselves it's not a good thing to have. We tell ourselves that it's a disease, that there's something wrong with me. And when you think about it this way, you feel worse. You feel much worse. Meditation is all about just looking at it and thinking, oh, hmm, it's, a, it's an interesting little feeling. Funny enough, when you meditate consistently for a long period of time, it's possible for you to even enjoy the feeling. Imagine that. Each and every single one of us is born into this world with that pesky little hole. 
Sadly for most people, they never really learn how to deal with it, and they spend their entire lives trying to fill it with little to no success. I hope this video gave you guys some insight on how to deal with this universal human annoyance. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. And if you want to learn more about becoming happy and especially meditation, check out this link right here. Stay tuned, guys.